Welcome to Out There. This week I want to share some tips with you on cutting a short fringe that is blunt and soft at the same time. We started by placing our fingers at the eyebrow so that the length would be about a half an inch below the eyebrow and would dry above the eyebrow once it shrinks. I'm going to over direct everything to the center of the section and then I'm going to cut it blunt. Now I'm just going to follow what I did because we over directed everything to the center. It's actually getting longer towards the edges. So now I'm going to bring it all down in natural fall and just follow my line. So now that it's dry, I want to go in and just lighten up the fringe. So I'm going to lift up the edge and I'm going to go in with my shears and just do some point cutting. So we're not changing the length, but we're just lightening up what's there. So we start to see a little bit more of what's behind the fringe. I'm just going to lift up the front again now that I'm in the front and just go in and do some deep point cutting. So now I'm going to go in and just lighten this up by picking up a few pieces here and there and just working through my, with my blades more open, barely moving them, just to sort of take the edge off. Now what I'm going to do is go into these pieces that are dropping over and I'm going to start to not necessarily cut them blunt to match, but start to work into them a little bit more softly so they start to blend in and work into the sides. So that's a few tips on cutting a short blunt fringe with texture. And until next time, that's all for now.